it is time for the buzz. Put this in your pipe and smoke it. The ACC is one and two in the country in RPI. Duke one, Miami two in the new AP poll. Duke is fourth in the country, Miami eighth. Miami cracks the top 10 for the first time in 14 years. I tweeted this yesterday. If I were the king of March Madness, as of right now, I would make Duke a one seed and Miami a two seed. Kelly, do you agree? Not with Miami. Duke, oh. yes, Miami. They've got a big target on their backs. So you think Miami's, I'm overrating the Hurricanes right now? Absolutely. All right. Well, the Ken Pomeroy <laughs> ratings, if you follow those at all, they have, he has Miami, I think, 13 in the country. Yeah. Is that a little better? Well, I, I, was, I was surprised Miami came ahead of Kansas in the RPI. Miami has, Jim Lernay has cracked the code on the RPI because yeah. they had a couple losses that are a little disappointing, but nonetheless, number two in RPI. Okay. People are still buzzing about the Super Bowl. People had... 34 minutes to kill time. So, Kelly, they tweeted and tweeted and tweeted, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, and we got reaffirmation that some people have nothing else to do but create Twitter handles when the Super Bowl lights went out. They created the handle Super Bowl lights. Perfect. Nothing more clever than that. And they tweeted, only Beyonce can turn me on. Jay-Z tweeted afterwards, <laughs> by the way. He said, lights out, referring to his wife's performance, Beyonce. Some people it actually really saying Beyonce was so electric okay. that she was responsible for knocking out the we'll power. We'll never know. Still investigating, right? <laughs> Um, Zachary tweeted, hopefully someone is comforting the terrified cheerleaders. I volunteer. I think there's a long line. <laughs> and MLB, I love this one. Jeff and I, we're baseball people. We thought we'd take this brief pause to remind you, pitchers and catchers report in eight days. Now it's six, Jeff. Not that I've been keeping Can it track, come but any yes, sooner? I think it's five days. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I know. Exactly. Baseball starting up next week could not be more excited about Florida and Arizona. Now, in 20 years, you may not remember right away which teams played in the Super Bowl, right? right. Super Bowl 47. But if I say, hey, remember the Har Bowl? Okay. You'll know okay. exactly which teams we're talking about. Or if a buddy says, remember <laughs> the year the lights went out? You'll yes. remember that, right? Uh, so, again, that's what things are we're asking you. Is that what are you remembering most about the Super Bowl? Also trending, National Signing Day. It is tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, college football coaches sit next to their fax machines and wait for high school football players to send their national letter of intent. By the way, why do they still use fax machines? Does this make any sense in the digital age? Keeping it old school. I, apparently. Emails can be hacked, fax machines, I'm not sure. I like PDF <laughs> files. No, no, most guys have already announced where they're going, but Kelly, if you guys oh, are waiting good. until the big day. Yeah, this is this is really good. They're, of course, waiting for the big day. Everyone trying to outsplash each other with, you know, crazy ways to announce, but you got to look back to Isaiah Crowell. He had the puppy. Oh, I forgot. This is classic. A live prop. No hats, no t-shirts. I, I, I'm not sure if his buddy <laughs> sitting next to him was even aware of what was about to Whoa. happen. Because he's got this look like, where did the puppy come from? Now, fortunately, uh, <laughs> the bulldog puppy uh, was was just a puppy. Cute Which goes puppies. back to last week, you were asking puppies or kittens. So I was, it all Colin ties Kaepernick. together here on ACC Live Trending. It really does.